Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories you are tracking for you on Monday the 7th of August. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi returns to parliament after reinstatement. Pakistan's ex-PM Imran Khan's arrest sparks mixed reactions. And Bangladesh grapples with record deadly outbreak of dengue fever. And now for all the details. Rahul Gandhi returned to India's parliament on Monday after a Supreme Court ruling boosting the profile of his Congress party and its opposition allies ahead of a no-confidence vote against Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government. The vote is, however, not expected to affect the popularity of PM Modi's ruling BJP-led NDA alliance, which enjoys a strong majority. Gandhi entered the parliament building after showing respect to the statue of Mahatma Gandhi in the complex while lawmakers of opposition alliance gathered outside to welcome him. Speaker, what is the speaker today? Today is the Friday, the restore has been restored. At least, when the constitution of the constitutional institution is going to be a little bit, we have to keep it in mind. So, there are also other MPs. So, that's why... जो कानूनी प्रक्रिया है संविधानिक प्रक्रिया है वो प्रक्रिया हमने बिना डिले किए है किया है Congress leaders termed it a historic day. Over recent months, Rahul Gandhi has helped the Congress party open talks with other opposition parties to push the idea of a grand alliance to take on the BJP in the general election next year. We are very happy that uh, they have taken a decision uh, early morning today. And therefore, he can attend the Lok Sabha today and uh, for the rest of the week. We are happy that the Speaker took the decision. And security forces foiled an infiltration bid in Punch district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Monday as they gunned down two terrorists along the line of control. An official said during the operation, one terrorist was neutralized and other was seen falling down after being shot near the LOC. Security forces have intensified search operations in recent days to track down the terrorists in the region. Last Friday, three soldiers were also killed in an encounter in Kulgam district. The gunfights come around the fourth anniversary of removal of special status of Kashmir. And moving on, Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been at the heart of political turmoil since his ouster, was declared guilty in Tosha Khana case this past weekend and has been transferred to the Atak jail for three years. The conviction, which Khan rejects as politically motivated, likely means he will be disqualified from running in a general election due by November. The PDI chief's arrest is the latest in a series of blows that have weakened his political standing after he fell out with the powerful military and his party splintered. His conviction has drawn divided reactions. It's a very simple thing that the judge can give a better decision. But the Khan should keep his own success. They have come with all of them. They have come with all इन्होंने हर एक को कॉर्नर करने की कोशिश की है लेकिन इनको सांसद में लचक जरूर देनी चाहिए थी। ये बहुत गलत काम किया। अब इसमें इकेन करो बड़ा दुख लगा हुआ। ये क्यों गिरफ्तार कर? तो शाहने का केस करे तो शाहने तो शाहने। जो आगे जो सरदारी ने और नूलीक जो है, इसने तीन दफा तो शाहना लूटा है। Ever since his ouster, Khan has been campaigning for a snap election and organizing protest which led to significant violence on May 9th, raising tension with the military. Khan accuses the military and his political opponents of plotting against him to block him from the election. Meanwhile, track restoration works were underway on Monday, a day after a passenger train derailed in Pakistan's Sindh province, killing at least 30 people and injuring more than 80. Officials said rescue work had concluded nearly four hours after the incident happened. Accidents on Pakistan's decaying rail system are common and successive governments have for years been trying to secure funds to upgrade the rail network. A major train crash in Sindh in 2021 killed 56 people and injured more than 100. आए एली हनी गाड़ी तेज जे असा जो हाँ असा कौन बचना सों असी मरी में दासों हाँ बचना सायं बिश्कुला 
ठक 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 कर वे में लगी वह बाकी अल्लाह से ही अस बचा हुआ Well, Taliban's Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed Abbas Tanakzai, during an event this past weekend, said that Afghanistan cannot develop without education, and asked the Higher Education Ministry to pay serious attention into the matter, a key issue for the group's international recognition. Tanakzai emphasized that Afghanistan had fallen behind other countries in the region in education, health, and agriculture due to the war. He added, "Now a safe environment has been established." His comments are however in stark contrast to Taliban's policies as it has banned girls from attending schools beyond 6th grade and also restricted women from attending universities and working with aid organizations. And Bangladesh is grappling with the record deadly outbreak of dengue fever with hospitals struggling to make space for patients as the disease spreads rapidly in the densely populated country. At least 313 people have died so far in 2023 and more than 66,000 infected according to official figures making this the deadliest year since the first recorded epidemic in 2000 There is no vaccine or drug that specifically treats dengue which is commonly in South Asia during the June to September monsoon season when the Aedes aegypti mosquito that spreads the deadly virus thrives in stagnant water Symptoms include high fever, joint pain, and vomiting. Experts said they expect to get more cases through August and September. जोखन अप्रैल माह से बिस्तर पर शुरू हुए से एरिस पोषण घनों तो जबीते खारे बारा शुरू करते हैं। शंगे शंगे वायरस से लोडी जो तो कम्युनिटी ते चिलो, शे जो न वायरस टियो ट्रांसपीट होते शुरू करते हैं। जेकरों ने जुलाई माह से ऐसे हमरा ऐतो आक्रांत हिंदू to seek his blessings on the 5th monday of the monsoon month of shravan the mondays of the holy month are considered extremely auspicious as part of the rituals devotees offer milk bilwa leaves and honey to the shivalingam the phallus representation of lord shiva it is believed that praying to lord shiva during shravan brings luck and prosperity hum log subah uth ke bel patra aur bhang dhatura ye sab ikattha karke भगवान शिव पे जल अर्पित करते हैं और ये हम लोग बचपन से करते आ रहे हैं और यहाँ क्योंकि झारखंडी महादेव मंदिर बहुत प्राचीन मंदिर है और सिद्ध मंदिर है तो इधर हम लोग हमेशा आते हैं हर सोमवार आते हैं Similar scenes were witnessed in capital New Delhi where devotees gathered at temples since early morning During the holy month married women also observe fasting on Mondays and pray for longer life of their husbands whereas the unmarried ones pray to Lord Shiva to get a suitable match Bahut maza aa raha hai hum regular aa rahe hain Bahut badhiya lagta hai sirf samman ji ke somvar ko hi andar darshan nahi hote nahi to baba ke roz darshan ho rahe hain Well that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.